What's going on guys, Kaivox here. And recently I got 10 more new wands from Noble Collection. And uh, whenever you do that, it's technically it's not whenever you do it, you have to go specifically to the 10 wand display wand, blah, blah, blah. Um, so basically what Noble Collection does is they allow you to purchase 10 wands at a time or four wands at a time and get a free wand display with them. Um, it gets pretty expensive when you're gonna buy 10 wands, but if you're gonna eventually buy 10 wands, you may want to just save up and get the display. This is the wand display itself. This is the 10 wand display. Um, there's a couple of questions that I always get with these. The first question is, do the wands come in the box? In their boxes? The wands do come in their own box and they also do come with a little uh, display, I guess, name tag um, that you can hang on here. So you could hang it on there so that you know whose wand it is. I'm assuming if you bought it though, you probably already know whose wand it is. I feel like this is only really useful for the people that are going to try to either collect all of the wands or collect a lot of the wands and they want to hang them up on the wall somehow and uh, don't really care about displaying them in the boxes. Personally, I prefer to display them in the boxes. I like to get the displays just because they're free. So I feel like I'm I'm missing out on a deal if I, if I don't get the display. Um, I basically will just pretty much put my wands up. I have one up on the wall over there and then I have this one because I just got another set. Um, I do not like these little name, where do they go? I do not like these little name tags. Um, they're just a little, they're nice. It's it's a nice thing to have, um, but I just feel like they're, they're not necessary. Um, if you don't know whose wand it is, then you don't know whose wand it is. Um, I don't have trouble with that, so I, I, I don't know. I, so I guess for some people it would be useful to know exactly whose wand is being displayed. Um, I guess it's more useful like for other people, people that come over and look at your wands and they're like, oh cool, that's Malfoy's wand or whatever. My thoughts about the actual uh, display itself. I feel like if you were to buy this yourself, um, it's pretty good. It, it all really depends on how it comes in. If you can see the corner of this one, it does have a little like scratch there. There are always like little nooks and scratches and whatever. Um, so it, it's never perfect, but I, I don't think that that's a deal breaker. Um, even the wands, the Noble Collection wands are never really perfect. Um, they always have little imperfections here and there, but you know, they're like $32. So if you really wanted something perfect, it would be a lot more expensive. So it's one of those things where it's, it's like, a, it's a, it's a used prop almost, um, where, you know, you're, you're, it's, it's not super cheap, you know, they're not like the, the, the Chinese knockoffs that you can get from like Wish or whatever, um, that are like $5, $10. Those are definitely not great. Um, they're definitely knockoffs. They feel like knockoffs. If you compare the two, the quality, even the paint job on them aren't as good as the Noble Collection ones. The Noble Collection ones, again, aren't perfect, but I would say that they're the best replicas for the price out there uh, right now. And, and I think they're also like official, officially licensed, so that definitely helps. But if you are interested in getting a 10 wand display or a four wand display, or if you're gonna buy four wands, get the, the, the four. It's basically just four four of these, it just cut right here. It looks exactly the same as this, except smaller, right? So it's just smaller this way. And the cool thing about this is that it actually has little um, little indents right here so that when the wands sit in there, they kind of sit in their place. Um, it doesn't fit every wand. Uh, not all wands will actually fit in here. So there is that. Definitely the straighter wands are more likely to fit. And then the ones like um, Bellatrix's wand, the bendy one, it doesn't really fit that well. Um, doesn't really fit at all, really, because of the way that it sits. Uh, there's some wands that just have the notch. What's what's nice about it is that it does have kind of alternating um, hooks, I guess, uh, holders. So what's nice about these is that if you have a wand that has a bigger, a fatter part here, you can then just put it on this one as opposed to this one. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good stand. Um, the you can buy them separately as well, but if you're gonna just buy 10 wands, you might as well do it. Another thing to keep in mind is that these are the only wands that are available, this style of wand. So um, you have to, you're gonna have to get the ones that have this sticker. So the ones that 
are like the collector's edition ones or any of those. I don't think any of the Fantastic Beast ones you can get in with this set. Um, luckily, the Fantastic Beast ones, a lot of them you can get with one of those two sets right there. If you guys want to go check out the video reviews for those in comparison, I did a video for that too. I'll put it up there. And um, it's it's pretty good. Even those are really good deals too, but you don't get all of the wands in that set and you do get all the wands from the first set in that one. So it's it's one of those things that um, it's a it's a niche situation for this. Um, but other than that, it's, it's a pretty good stand and I will probably continue to get them because I still need to fill in my collection. As you can see behind me, I have a bunch of wands and I have 10 more right there that I'm also gonna be doing a video for. So if you wanna check that out, the video link is also up there, probably in the description as well, um, if it's out already. So I hope this helps somebody. I hope this, uh, this helps you guys decide if you wanna get one of these, if it's worth it. Definitely think it's worth it because it's pretty much free. You just gotta save up like 300 and something US dollars. I think it's like 320. 23 or something like that 332 i don't remember exactly what it was um but over 300 dollars for 10 wands because they're about 32 32 50 i think um so it'd be what 323 no 325 3250 yeah no yeah Three, 325, math is hard sometimes. So I still have the plastic wrap on this, but let me take it off so I can show you guys before I forget. I would say um, it's, it's definitely worth it. And um, if you guys are interested, I almost forgot to take off this wrap by the way. If you guys are interested in picking this up, I, I, I think, it's a good, think it's a good deal. Um, comes with the, uh, the crest right there, the, uh, the, the Hogwarts crest. And um, it looks really good. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to check out those other videos if you um, are inclined to. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below letting me know uh, what you guys think, if you guys have had some bad luck with it. Um, and quick, quick note, um, these, if you do get these displays, they actually do not come with the boxes. So they only come the loose ones in the, in the shipping box with the display. So if you want the boxes, you have to buy those ones separately. Keep that in mind. Thank you guys once again. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs>